Today we're talking about the most recent Tesla news, including European production updates for the Model Y, Tesla's new supercharger factory, and how their $25,000 car could be coming even sooner than previously expected or even this year. So let's get into it. First up today, Tesla opened their new supercharger factory in Shanghai. Up until now, Tesla has produced superchargers at their Fremont factory and then their Gigafactory New York, where it also produces the solar roof. Moving to the New York factory allowed them to make way more of their V3 superchargers, which are their fastest yet. And now adding a Shanghai factory should help increase output of these charging stations even more. Tesla's supercharger network is one of their biggest advantages. There are many great EVs coming to market, but none of them come with the same peace of mind that Tesla's do for those worried about charging options while on the road. With over 2, thousand stations and over 20,000 stalls as of November, Tesla is expanding rapidly as sales of cars increase. They will need a ton of these supercharger stalls going forward, so this move makes perfect sense. The official announcement from Tesla China says, quote, Today, Tesla's supercharging station factory was officially put into production with the strong support of Shanghai's government at all levels and Tesla's rapid advancement. The Tesla Shanghai supercharging station factory was officially completed and put into production, representing the industries leading the third generation supercharging pile, V3, was officially off the assembly line. The project took less than a half a year from the formal establishment of the project in August 2020 to the official production which once again reflects the speed of Shanghai and Tesla. Reportedly, with this new supercharger factory, Tesla will be able to make up to 10,000 supercharging stalls per year. This is exponential growth, considering from when Tesla launched the supercharger network to now, they have made a little over 20,000 stalls. Now they will be able to add 10,000 per year, and I wouldn't be surprised if they need to continue accelerating those numbers in the future as their cars get more and more popular. Charging at home means less superchargers are needed than gas stations, but the fact that charging times are typically at least 20 to 30 minutes long means that when people need to charge at the same time, there need to be a lot of options, especially on holidays. Holidays have been known to cause long queues at superchargers along popular routes, so adding 10,000 stalls per year around the world should help reduce those wait times even as Tesla continues to sell more and more cars. Next up, Tesla has updated Model Y timelines on their website. When you go to purchase a Model Y, the website now says production is expected to start in mid-2021. This launches a new approach for Tesla, because instead of making the Model Y in Fremont, taking care of sales in the US, and then shipping overseas, they are building out factories to make the Model Y. They just recently started the Model Y line in Shanghai for local deliveries, and they are constructing their factory in Berlin with production originally scheduled for the end of 2021. Now it looks like Tesla might be working even faster on their factory than expected, because they are quoting mid-2021 on their website. Now there could be something different going on here where they're receiving shipments from Giga Shanghai, but the fact that it says, quote, production instead of deliveries hints that they are talking about Giga Berlin. Elon tweeted a few updates about Giga Berlin construction, and we can see that things are moving very quickly. So if you are in Europe waiting for a Model Y, it may end up coming even sooner than originally expected, which is exactly what they did with this car in the US as well. Not only is this exciting because Tesla will be finally delivering the Model Y to order holders and doing so early, but the Model Y in Berlin is expected to have a few major improvements over the US and China made versions. First is the biggest improvement, which is the fact that the Berlin Model Y should be the first to feature Tesla's new custom 4680 battery cells that they unveiled at Battery Day. These cells should add a lot of improvement for cost and range in the Model Y. On top of that, these cells would be put into a new structural battery design that Tesla will be moving to. Again, they talked about this at Battery Day, but essentially the batteries themselves will be made into this honeycomb structure that allows the battery pack to be smaller, more rigid and safe in the case of an accident, and more towards the center of the car. And lastly, the Model Y will have fewer parts in production because it will use Tesla's new Giga casting machine. The front and back will each be a single piece connected by the structural battery pack, making the Model Y easier to produce and cheaper in the process. They have started doing this for the US made Model Y as well, but we haven't confirmed yet if they're doing this on every single one or not. Tesla did release a new video on their Twitter account this week, and we can see it here. They said, quote, world's biggest die casting machine. It can cast front and rear vehicle underbodies in a single piece each, down from 70 plus parts for the same sections previously. So if the Model Y truly starts production from Giga Berlin in mid 2021, it will be introducing three new technologies into the Model Y and for Tesla in general, it will be their first car shipped with most of the technologies they talked about at battery day. 
And that brings us to the next big thing they talked about at Battery Day, their $25,000 EV. Tesla's original master plan involved making the Roadster, using that money to make the Model S and X, and then using that money to make the affordable Model 3. The only thing is that in order to make an EV with a decent range at this point, you can't get much cheaper than a Model 3, and the average car buyer finds the Model 3 to be too expensive. So at Battery Day, Elon detailed their timeline for reduced battery costs and how they can make a $25,000 EV within the next few years. Here's what Elon said at Battery Day. I think probably, uh, yeah, like I said, about, about three years from now, uh, we're confident we can make a very, com a, a very compelling $25,000 electric vehicle. So Elon said three years, but we've heard periodic rumors that it would be coming sooner than expected. Today, we just got a report from a Chinese newspaper claiming an even more accelerated timeline than expected. According to Sina, Tesla will build a special model for China. We had heard Elon mention this before, and the expectation has been that the $25,000 Tesla would likely be made there and shipped to the rest of the world. According to the report, the price would be 160,000 RMB, right under $25,000 US converted. And they even use the name Model 2 as a placeholder in the report. This has been the title many people have used to reference this vehicle that we know is on the horizon, but Tesla actually has never used that name. The Model 2 would be designed at Tesla's China Design Center and produced at their Giga Shanghai factory as expected. It's expected to be a compact car possibly and most likely have a hatchback. The big new news for today is that Tesla's internal environmental impact assessment process has already begun for this vehicle, which involves identifying the likely effects of a product on the environment, among other things. We don't have the actual document, but it reportedly refers to a quote, new model early launch project that will take six months to test. So it's very possible that we could begin spotting these on roads within the next few months in China. And with the most aggressive timeline possible, we could see Tesla unveil it this year and even begin deliveries by the end of this year or early next year. The report says, quote, it is estimated that the first batch of models will be tested on the road soon. It is expected to be unveiled in the second half of the year. It goes on to say that it will be small, not have much power or acceleration compared to Tesla's normal vehicles, but will have a battery life between 350 to 450 kilometers or 217 to 279 miles. That would probably be a different mileage estimate than EPA, so I could imagine it being closer to something like 200 to 250 miles of range. At this point, I couldn't picture Tesla going anywhere below 200 miles of range on a vehicle they ship, no matter the price tag. When talking about the standard range Model Y, Elon had said that less than 250 miles was not not okay. They did actually end up making that car and it gets 244 miles of range, but any lower than 200 I cannot see being acceptable for Elon, even if it's a cheap car. Regarding the design, this was the original render that Tesla had posted to advertise for open jobs at their Chinese design studio. Elon talked about them doing an original vehicle there saying, quote, something that would be super cool, so we're going to do it, is to actually design an original car in China for worldwide consumption. I think this will be very exciting. The original thought when Tesla posted that render was that it might be a car designed for China and shipped only in China. But after those words from Elon and after battery day and after seeing that the price tag falls exactly in line with Tesla's plans for a $25,000 model, it seems like the same car. According to Tesmanian, on January 29th, Tesla received approval from the construction management committee where Giga Shanghai is located. This approval means that Tesla can start building phase two of their Gigafactory Shanghai, which right now is producing the Model 3 and Model Y. Apparently this project would add more manufacturing for those two vehicles, but also quote, related derived models. And that leads to the details from that original report I talked about in Cinna, which says that the Model 2 would be a hatchback based on the Model 3 platform. This makes a ton of sense since Tesla has had great success with the Model 3 and now Model Y, which is largely based on the Model 3. And part of its charm is that the interior is so minimal. This means going forward into the future for a cheaper car, they can simply reduce the battery size, move to cheaper battery cells, and remove certain premium features of the Model 3 while keeping the main center display as the focus of the controls. The Model 3 is designed in a minimal way for the aesthetic, but also for cost. They have to find cost savings wherever possible since batteries are so comparatively expensive. While eliminating the instrument cluster on the Model 3 is a design move, it's also a cost savings move. So the Model 2 can be a stripped down version of that, taking away things like heated powered seats, incredible acceleration times, a glass roof, and more to get down to a $25,000 cost. The Model 3 currently starts at $37,990, so a stripped down, 
smaller Model 3 hatchback made with Tesla's new battery in China seems very possible to come sooner rather than later. One thing to point out going forward as well is that Elon has built up a reputation of quote, Elon time. It's his own special time and charm because he frequently has promised a deadline on certain things and delivered late. The catch there is that everything he was late to, with the exception of full self-driving, he has delivered. The Model 3 was delayed, but it absolutely came to be and is incredibly popular now. Full self-driving is the latest, quote, Elon time episode because he promised level five autonomy in 2020, and now we'll be lucky if we see it this year or next year. With all of that said, Tesla's last two product launches have been incredibly sandbagged by Elon, and I think this is by design. I think Elon has started doing two separate things here. First, he has recognized that he tends to overpromise on timelines, so he's adjusted for that. For the Tesla Model Y, for example, it was announced for production at the end of 2020. They were a whole six to nine months early on that launch. At battery day, Tesla announced the Plaid Model S for delivery in late 2021. Instead, they launched a redesigned Model S and X with a lower range Plaid model, still getting the insane promised 1.99 second zero to 60, coming in March, next month. So Elon has been under promising and over delivering as of late. Second, Tesla is expanding rapidly and rapidly constructing and expanding multiple factories around the world. This is rapidly accelerating their own timelines, allowing for the idea of a new vehicle to come much sooner than Elon has now adjusted to. So he is both adjusting to over-promising, while Tesla is actually able to achieve timelines better than he's used to with things like the Model 3 launch. The Cybertruck is expected to be delayed, and Elon said that if they're lucky, they'll produce some in 2021, as originally promised. But that is an entirely new vehicle, unlike anything anyone has ever made before. The Model 2, or whatever it will be called, will be a stripped down, smaller hatchback version of the Model 3. It seems like they already have the design ready to go, and they are planning the construction of the factory that would build it at Giga Shanghai. So this vehicle will be much easier for Tesla to produce than their other vehicles in the past. The constraint to account for the most is battery supply. As Tesla rapidly accelerates and more companies dive into making their own EVs, battery production will be tough, which is why Tesla detailed their diversified cathode approach at battery day. The Model 3 and future $25,000 EV both fall into the iron-based long cycle life category. So this diversified approach could help with supply constraints for a Model 2, which would likely be incredibly popular. So while Elon did say three years at battery day, I'm not sure if I trust his timelines at this point, for the opposite reason that most people don't trust them. Usually people think it will be more than three years, but this Model 2 is looking more like one to two years, and Elon has been under-promising lately. Of course, these are just rumors per usual, and Tesla has not given any official update, but Tesla will not do so until they actually unveil this car. They are incredibly secretive, but hopefully we might get a reveal later this year, according to the latest report. This car will likely appeal to a huge portion of car buyers in the future, especially considering it will be affordable, allow you to use Tesla's ever-expanding supercharger network, and according to Elon, they will make a $25,000 compelling EV. Uh, that's also fully autonomous. And now onto a couple more pieces of news for today. Tesla is now reintroducing the enhanced autopilot feature in Europe. Tesla's full self-driving package is $10,000 and includes some features that many people want but aren't willing to pay $10,000 for. Tesla's current model is that all cars come with basic autopilot. It has traffic aware cruise control and auto steer. This new package in Europe comes in at 3,800 euro or around $4,500 and includes navigate on autopilot, auto lane change, auto park, and summon. The only difference is that it does not include traffic light and stop sign control or the future promised auto steer on city streets feature. Tesla has added and removed this package so many times that we don't really know how long it will be available. However, this package will make a lot of sense for many people. Currently, the traffic light and stop sign control feature leaves a lot to be desired, and the other feature is something that was promised for last year and is now promised for this year. So if you're not a fan of beta testing and paying for a feature that might come very soon or be a ways off, this might be great for you. For me, I would love to see Tesla sell auto lane change as a standalone upgrade, since I think most people could do without the rest of these included features, but auto lane change massively improves autopilot. Last up is a small update about the Tesla Semi. Tesla unveiled the Semi in 2017 alongside the Roadster. Both vehicles have had long delays, but a new prototype of the Tesla Semi has been seen by a few different people. The Kilowatts found one in Sacramento, and then just this week, Corey Draper found one at a truck stop. He posted a nearly five minute video talking about and walking around the Tesla Semi, so if you're into the Semi, it's definitely worth checking out. He got a lot of close-ups, including some video of what appears to be the battery pack, the location of where the cabin would go, and more. 
The last we heard from Tesla, they are planning to deliver their first Tesla Semi this year. It's constrained by battery supply, so hopefully their new 4680 cells should hopefully help launch the Semi for real. That's it for today, and I'm super excited to see this new Model 2 sometime soon. But what do you think it will be called? Model 2 actually doesn't really make sense at all with Tesla's naming structure, so leave a comment below with what you think. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to like this video if you appreciated it. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ryan Shaw Tech. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.